Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another unboxing video. And this is another one of those box sets that I thought I'd never get. I missed out on it when it first came out and I just watched the price disappear into the ether. And thanks to Nick Yusofian's donation to help me go after the box sets I've always wanted, I now have a copy. And it is the Isley Brothers. Um, it is the RCA Victor T-Neck Album Masters 23 CDs. Remember these Colombian Master Colombian Columbia Masters complete album box sets? Usually they're about half this size. One of my favourites is the Blue Oyster Corp one. But there are certain ones that just vanished, and this was one of them um, by the Isley Brothers. It's just great. Shall we have a look? Yeah, let's have a look inside the box. This is the Isley Brothers. The RCA Victor and T-Neck Album Masters from 1959 to 1983. I think it's one of the biggest of this type of box set that was ever produced. Um, it's got 23 CDs in it. Um, and it goes for considerable price nowadays. But it's absolutely immense. Um, the albums aren't in the order that they came out. Well... They mostly are, but these are the ones that have been playing the most are sat at the top, so go for your guns. Um, if it was a gatefold sleeve, they've retained the gatefold sleeve with the spine and all the credits. This is another Harvest of the Worlds out of order, um, because, I mean, out of order for me playing it, not out of order musically. <laughs> um, great album. Um, and then we've got, the rest of them should be roughly in order. The first one from 1959. Some of the artwork here is is like social history in itself um, and then it's our thing especially this one uh, live at the Yankee Stadium and maybe even this one as well um, kind of like an age of innocence isn't it and this is a gatefold sleeve as well so I think that's what makes these box sets so collectible I don't mean for collectors to just hold them on a shelf I mean for music fans it's this level of um, detail that you have with them. The Aussie Brothers and Jimi Hendrix, uh, which I'm looking forward to listening to, because I haven't heard that yet. Um, the Isleys. Isleys Live. A two-record set, it says, with the hype sticker. The most famous one, 3 plus 3, featuring that lady, the Summer Breeze. Live it up. Oh, great atmospheric pictures from the time, lots of dry ice, showdown, another gatefold sleeve with the lyrics, winner takes all, this is a double, go all the way, it's amazing actually how many gatefold sleeves they had, um, Wild and Woodstock. Inside you. Going towards the end of the box now, the real deal. And the smoochiest one of all, which is also seen as one of their best albums, is Between the Sheets. So that is the CDs, and it also comes with, as you imagine with anything like this, um, it comes with a Pretty cool booklet as well, everything you, you wanted to hear by the Aussie Brothers, but afraid to ask. So the full history of the band, all the credits and extra... See, most of these albums come with absolutely tons of bonus tracks as well, which is another reason why this is so sought after, really. Um, you know, not only is the remastering fantastic, but everything comes with lots of extra tracks where necessary I mean you know look at 3 plus 3 the amount of bonus tracks there um, absolutely fantastic stuff really um, Go For Your Guns has got bonus tracks Showdown Winner Takes All Go All The Way Wild and Woodstock Sound Studio 1980 Grand Slam Inside You The Real Deal and between the sheets, the last of all, with all the credits on the back as well. So that is the Isley Brothers, the RCA Victor T-Neck Album Masters. 
So that's Izzy Brothers, RCA Victor and Tina Album Masters, 23 CDs, all in little mini gatefold sleeves where they came out in gatefold sleeves. Great booklet, great remastering, tons and tons of extra tracks. And as I've got more into soul music, you know, box sets like this have just become something I've just gone after. But I always wanted this one because the Izzy Brothers had that kind of guitar edge, didn't they? Summer Breeze. Um and stuff like that and obviously 3 plus 3 was the album wasn't it um, and I haven't played all of these yet in fact if you are an Isley Brothers fan please tell me in the comments where I should go next I'll tell you what I've been so far which I did when I did the unboxing Harvest of the World Go For Your Guns which is absolutely funkadelic um, but there's so much to go for and I've also played the last one which was um, Between the Sheets as well um, which is really which I absolutely love as well but um, but yeah the 3 plus 3 one that, that lady with a guitar playing Summer Breeze is just fantastic but let me know if you're an Izzy Brothers fan what is your favourite album so as I because it's going to take me a while to work through 23 discs and as I say, I've, only, I've only gone through three before already I'd be interested to know where you think I should go after the ones I've already played but thank you for watching thank you again Nick for, for your kind support and helping this to now be in the Nasbini Magazine Music Archive it's wonderful um, absolutely loving it so take care everybody remember music is the healer and the doctor please subscribe and I shall see you all very very soon